Who am I? This question is one of the most difficult to answer and has garnered attention right from the start of self-reflection. What do we even mean by the self? Are we souls? Are we another's imagination? Are we just minds or a combination of body and mind? In this video, selected philosophers' answer to the question will be presented. Socrates, Plato, and St. Augustine explained the self is an immortal soul that exists over time. Moral law exists and is imposed on the mind. There is an eternal law, the law of conscience, coming from eternal reason or God himself. Thus, out of love, God created man. On the other hand, Rene Descartes explained the self is a thinking thing distinct from your body. He emphasizes the consciousness of the mind which leads to an evidence of his existence. He believed in cogito ergasm, which means, I think, therefore I am. While John Locke said, personal identity is made possible by self-consciousness, he proposed memory theory. We were the same person as we were in the past as long as we remember something from the past. Therefore, as long as my memories are around, I am around. In the contrary, David Hume said, There is no self, only a bundle of constantly changing perceptions passing through the theater of minds. That the self keeps on changing, no impression corresponding to self endures through time. And finally, Paul Churchland said, The self is the brain. He presented neurophilosophy which tries to understand the neurological movement of the brain and provides measurable classification of one's behavior. He argued, self is defined by movements of the brain. No matter what your answer is to the question, who am I? The bottom line, according to Dada Bhagwan, not knowing this is the greatest death to the soul. So explore. Because understanding the self is the same as one's pursuit to happiness.